Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today I'm just going to do a bit of an in-depth review as to exactly what has happened with the Griffin range, what the Griffin range entails, i.e. fusion, and of course what has happened in the latest firmware update of the Griffin. So this is going to be a bit of a long video, but if you bear with me, hopefully I can try and cover most bases and hopefully we can work together so I can answer all your questions. But of course, if you do have any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave in the comments down below. And we're more than happy to answer the questions for you. So if you didn't know already, Hikmicro have brought out a new thermal device called the Griffin. It is a handheld monocular and you have two options with every single monocular, every single Griffin monocular in their range. You can either have it with or either with or without a laser rangefinder. Now, of course, there are varying different stages and, of course, the sensor, but I'll come to that in a second. But the key point to remember is that across the majority of stages, you can have it with or without a laser rangefinder. The unit I have here in front of me is the GQ50L, which is the, the flagship, the top of the range, the most expensive, best sensor, all singing, all dancing of the Griffin range. And as you can see, it does have a laser rangefinder. And if you look at the front, of course, you have three different lenses. You have your standard thermal germanium lens. You have a night vision camera, which I'll come on into in a minute. And of course, your laser rangefinder. Okay, these two lenses here, as I say, are standard across the entire range. The entire range itself consists, if we work down from the GQ50L, which has the 640 by 512 sensor, right down to the GH25, which has a 25mm lens and a 384 by 288 sensor. It goes GH25, GH25L, 35, 35L, GQ35 and GQ35L, and then of course the GQ50L. The Q represents the Pro 640 and the H represents the standard 380. Uh, if you want to equate that to any sort of um, modern day analogy, you, if you see 380 or the GH range, you see that as your standard 1080p HD, Whereas if you then go to the Pro range, which is the GQs, which is the 35 and the 50, you can see that as a 4K. So hopefully that just gives you a bit of a, an understanding between the definition. From a practical point of view, with both units, and this is an, an analogy I quite like to use quite a lot, is with both units, you will see the Fox. There is no doubt about that at all, even if it's with a GH25 or with a GQ50L. You will be able to identify that animal as 100 yards away as a fox. With the GQ range, however, though, you will pick the depth of its fur up. So therefore, it makes it a better identification tool, especially when you want to identify the brush of the fox, which of course is quite a key factor between choosing, uh, between identifying a quarry between a fox, dog or cat, which are all very similar size objects. And of course, at the end of the day, we all want to get it right, because as soon as that round needs a rifle, there's nothing you can do about it. So that's the Griffin range, in short. Of course, we have done a few quick fire reviews on that already. As you can see, they do come in these lovely boxes here, and they are very well presented with their three-year UK warranty as well, so there is a, a very good turnaround time if something were to occur with your unit. The LRFs on all the units, they go up to 600 meters, which I think is more than enough for most people to go out there. If you're looking to shoot at night more than 600 meters, then, well, best of luck to you, because it's not certainly not something I could look to achieve efficiently, especially not at the time that time and speed that a fox does move over that uh, over that sort of distance, and you have to recalculate your your ballistics. As I've as I've already mentioned, they all come with a night vision camera, and the night vision camera is the first to be seen on any thermal monocular on the market so far, and it is whole part of this whole fusion concept, which I will elaborate further on in a second. And what you can do is you can obviously choose your standard color palettes, or if you want, you can go to a night vision camera. Now you're thinking maybe, right, okay, night vision camera, yeah, fantastic, all good, but how do I put, there's, there's no illuminator on there, how do I see what I, what I can see at night? Well, the question is answered very simply by one of these. It is a separate accessory that you can purchase for the Hit Micro Griffins, a nice quick release system on the edge there, and you can put your IR torch on, that simply clicks in and clicks out like so. Suitable for a variety of torches, and all that does is that screws in the bottom, if you can quite see there, screws in the bottom, and that simply screws into the bottom of your unit there. 
I won't do it just here because it is just so it's just a little bit fiddly, but let's see. Yeah, well, there you go. Just yeah, simply screws into the bottom, nice and easy. And yeah, it makes it look like a bit of a big unit. Don't get me wrong, but if I put my put my hand in there, it's not not too much to add on to there really. Unclip that. That simply removes that. And then what we'll do is we'll take the torch. This is the Hick Micro torch. So of course, you can purchase with it separately as well. And that comes there and that simply clicks on. And then that's a nice adjustable adjustable mount there. And what you can do is, so i just show you at the bottom here, there is a screw at the bottom here. And of course, you can move it left to right. If you feel that you do not want to use the Hick Micro torch, that's not the end of the world. Because what you can do, if you simply unclip that, come off, and if you want to use a third party torch, oh, you want to use a third party torch, like this one, which a few of you will recognize, uh, you simply just, it works in the same clamp, that goes in there, obviously this torch is a bit heavier, so again, simply clicks in there. It adds a bit of weight, don't get me wrong, but that is no heavier than a pair of accolades, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, so it's it's really not not too incumbent at all. I mean, if you've got this on a neck strap, round your neck, fantastic, all, all the better. Of course, if you just want to use it as a thermal monocular, you're more than welcome to. So if we just take that one off. So that means, as I say, you can use the unit itself as a thermal monocular or as a night vision monocular. Let's get on to fusion. What is fusion? Well, fusion is basically the concept of amalgamating thermal and night vision imagery together. So you can overlay the two images, so you are able to identify your quarry with a hell of a lot more clarity and therefore take a more effective and efficient shot and therefore not end up um, shooting the wrong thing on the night. If you imagine you are looking at 70 yards away at a big shop sign, let's say it's an Argos sign for example, and you, all you can see with a thermal camera is you'll see a big white rectangle, big heat signature coming off. If you're looking at it with a night vision camera, so say like through your night vision scope, whether that be like obviously like a Wolf 4K or a Digix C50, something like that, you will see the black and white television image of that sign. You'll see it clear as day, that says Argos, and obviously there you go, you can see, see exactly what it says. And that's what gives night vision the edge of identification over thermal. With fusion technology, what that does, it elaborates that thermal rectangle that you will see, but you will see the writing on there of the Argos sign, you'll see that as clear as you can through the night vision camera. So therefore it brings the best of both worlds, so that allows you to one, identify a heat source, and two, benefit from the night vision capabilities to therefore effectively identify your quarry to then set up and take your shot. And that is what fusion is in a nutshell. Fusion is a new technology and Hick Micro are the first company to bring it out onto, shall we say, the civilian market because the left, there's no denying it, this sort of technology has been in the military for, for God knows how long now. But say to have this on a civilian capacity really is a step forward when it comes to um, thermal and night vision trends. If we think back to last year, obviously Miller Kelvin was all the rage. That's what people wanted to go on about how low you can get it and therefore get your heat temperature and therefore your better identification. With fusion, that is a step beyond and certainly a step towards the right direction when you're looking to purchase a, um, a thermal spotter. What you can do within this specific unit, and I will show you on the app now, if I just get my phone, what you're going to see is obviously a screen recording of the actual, the actual um, what I'm looking through right now. But basically, I've got HIC Micro Sight loaded, loaded up now. As you can see, I've got my live view. I've got that all started. As you can see, it's just not a not a great image at the moment. What I'll do is I'll just put the put the cat back over the end there, so you can't. So there's nothing really to see on the screen. And um, what you can do is I'm just going to get the unit itself. I'm just going to hold down the menu, and then I'm simply just going to scroll down. As you can see, right down till we get to the fusion level. Now the fusion level, when you press the menu button, will give you a few options. So we've got greater than 185 yards, 26 to 40 yards, and 46 to 185 yards. Now what these allow you to do is it allows you to choose the level at which you want to amalgamate the two, the, the fusion, so from the night vision camera and the thermal together, allows you to amalgamate and therefore um, get an, achieve a fantastic picture. So if we say 46 to 85, that's perfect for your rabbit and fox shooting. Um, so if we just go back onto the menu there, and then if you want to go on to 
I said greater than 185, then obviously you know your topography, you're going to be taking the average shot more than 180 yards. If you're looking at using it for ratting, 26 to 40 yards is going to be more than enough. That's going to be exactly what you were, what you need to go for. So that's how Fusion works. That's how the Fusion works specifically in the Griffin, obviously how you can choose your different, different palettes in there as well. And if I just come off the menu system there, obviously I had it on Black Hot, um, I've got it on optical there, so you can see the optical camera, and then you can actually see the camera filming us there. And then, of course, you've got your your image fusion. But see, I've got the uh, thermal lens closed, so obviously you can't can't see much there at all. While we're on the Hick Micro Sight app, guys, I am just going to very briefly just show you a few bits and pieces. So obviously, you can turn the laser range finding on and off, and obviously, we so you can actually. Um, laser range find bits and pieces. Obviously an error code popped up then just because we're in such close proximity. You can calibrate the device. Obviously that clicks it there. And then obviously you choose your different color palettes that you can from all your um, all your settings there. Um, what you can also do, you can't do this on the app though, is if you go on to the actual, on the actual menu system itself, which is really, really good from, from Hick Micro this. If you go down uh, sorry, if I just go down, scroll down there using the scroll wheel, right down until we get to the color palettes, click on that. You can actually choose which color palettes you want on and off. So if I want to turn off white hot, uh, turn off black hot, uh, I want to say I want to have uh, that sort of red hot, uh, turn off my optical and then just have image fusion. When I then come back, um, as I go through, there you go. So there's my image fusion there. Uh, say so there's my red hot there and then I've got my I have just those two palettes there uh, This is the only device on the market that allows you to change change the color palettes um, So something like that it, it really is quite handy because don't get me wrong What we all do some of the time is um, we accidentally press the wrong button in the dark and therefore end up going on to the incorrect palette And so therefore I have to go go through all the different systems You can do your, your brightness your contrast your zoom and of course you can do all your camera recording all through the Hick Microsite app. So that's a brief overview of one, the Griffin range itself, two, what Fusion is, and three, I have slightly touched on it, and then this will be the final point, so thank you for bearing with me. Three is going to be what the latest firmware update has done for the Hick Micro range. Now there's been a firmware update across the Griffins, Panthers, Thunders, and Lynx range, which is all their range, pretty much, pretty much currently available at the moment and what it's done it is, has enhanced the fusion capability in the griffins uh, it's added those color palette modes uh, the ability to change different palettes and, and turn certain ones off it certainly made the fusion more efficient than it was before because i'll be honest with you with the, the initially turned up they were slightly gimmicky and obviously you could use it as a night vision camera but now you can certainly use it as an effective tool the app itself has been updated so you can actually now do the updates from the app onto your actual unit itself. As well as that, the GQ50 has come out. And I'll say that that has the latest firmware on there, but has the, the wider lens so you get a bigger depth of field. If we go on to the Panthers and the Lynx, then what we can say they've done there is they've they've improved the timestamp on there. So obviously you don't get the seconds counting down all the time. Yeah, you've gone through a different menu setup on there. You've got the zero, the, the freeze function on the zero, which is a massive, massive bonus when it comes to obviously the, the Panthers and the, um, the Thunders. You can magnify on your zeroing menu now as well. Um, and as well as that, they've just made it a much more user-friendly, much more uh, responsive system so that you can go through and effectively use your device as you need to. As well as doing all that, Hick Micro have just released the Stellar, which we have done a quick fire review on, so please uh, please make sure you go and check that one out. That is their first 30mm tubed uh, thermal weapon scope, uh, and trust me, it is a hell of a piece of kit. Um, I've just, just put one on my rifle, um, and I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to get you guys some footage on that one. It really, really is a serious piece of kit. Um, but... Other than that, this has just been, I say a brief overview, but it has been an overview of what the Griffin is, the fusion capability it, it, it has inside, um, what fusion is itself and what it represents in the thermal and night vision market, and of course, what has been done um, across, the whole of the, um, across the whole of the HIC micro range. So guys, thank you very much for staying with me. I know it's been a long video, but hopefully you've learned a few bits and pieces. Um, I've been James, your night vision and hunting specialist, 
and this has been another video by Optics Warehouse.